Good morning, boys and girls. It's me, Mrs. Brandt. Welcome to school. Today is Monday, April 27, 2020. And our hello of the week is Jambo, which is Swahili. So try saying that with me, Jambo. Excellent. All right, our focus today is going to be research skills. So I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to share this picture of our library with you. I miss school so much and I bet you probably do too. So just the fact that I had a few pictures on my computer of our school setting in our library, it just makes me feel really good when I see it. So talking about research skills today, our plan is to really identify what we do and what we mean by research. Um, some of you might remember that when we talked about research at school, I said it was looking for information. So sometimes we would go like this and we'd put our glasses on and we'd say, we're looking for information. Or I'd make you turn it around and would say, research is looking for information. And there's a lot of words on the screen right now that you can see that really helps identify what it means for research. So research could be asking questions. It could be observing and just looking around and using our other senses. It means planning, collecting information, collecting data, organizing it, interpreting it, and then at the end, presenting it or just sharing what you learned with people. So one way that we do all this at Lone Pine is we break it down into three steps. So everybody give me three. These are the three steps. You can see on the screen, it says step number one is plan. And I like to think about that as like pointing to my head, or pointing to my brain and saying plan. So the first step is plan. I need to figure out what do I want to do? The second step is do. So the do is make your hands like a little book. And the do part is either reading or looking for information on the computer. So you can also pretend like you're tapping on a computer. And then the third step is called review. And that means you're giving yourself a thumbs up or maybe a thumbs down. Maybe you didn't do your best work or maybe you were rushed. Or maybe it's like right in between. So you're asking yourself, did I do my best work and did I do what I had planned to do or what my teacher asked? So these three steps, we can make them really fun by singing our Super 3 song. Now, if you are a student at Lone Pine, we've always been using this model. So if you just started using it recently in kindergarten, you'll be using it in first grade, second grade, and third grade. You might remember the song that we would sing with it and it goes like this. So remember, you're going to want to say plan. You're pointing to your brain like I'm going to make a plan. I'm going to think about it. Do is when you're reading a book or you're typing on a computer or looking for research. And then review is asking yourself the question. Thumbs up. Did I do a great job? Eh, so, so. Or oh, I need to try again and redo my work. So let's sing the song together. It goes to the tune of bingo. You guys know that, remember? It goes B-I-N-G-O, 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 and Bingo was his name-o. So now we're going to use our Super 3 words with this song. So I always start by clapping just to kind of get the beat. It goes, here is a process I can use. Its name is Super 3 -o. Plan, do, and review. Plan, do, and review. Plan, do, and review, its name is Super 3 -o. So when you guys are looking for information or you're just wanting to solve a problem or get to know something new that you haven't learned before, think of those three steps. Plan, do, and review. Have a great day, you guys.